century, Sumitomo Machinery Corporation of America has produced the SM Cyclo Speed Reducer. Today, the SM Cyclo is still an industry leader in durability, efficiency, and reliability. Sumitomo has also designed the SM Cyclo Speed Reducer for easy maintenance. The Cyclo can be disassembled and reassembled without special tools or skills. If you're disassembling an oil lubricated unit, remove the plug at the bottom of the unit opposite the oil gauge and drain the oil from the unit. If the speed reducer is equipped with a cooling fan, remove the cooling fan cover and fan. In smaller units, 3075 through 311H, grease is the standard lubrication. Oil is standard on sizes 3140 and up. Grease lubrication is a possible option on some models. Remove the through bolts from the high-speed shaft end shield and ring gear housing. Remove the ring gear housing from the slow speed assembly. If you have to lift the unit mechanically, place an eye bolt in the drilled and tapped hole on the end of the slow speed shaft. Once you have removed the high speed assembly, remove the slow speed shaft rollers from the pins. Remove the retaining ring from the inner end of the high-speed shaft and use a wheel puller to remove the top bearing. Remove the top cycloidal disc from the high speed side by lifting it straight out with both hands. Then remove the spacer ring. Remember, the cycloidal disc is made from heat treated bearing steel, while the spacer ring is cast iron. Be careful not to strike them together while handling. Remove the eccentric cam, pulling the cam straight off of the shaft. In the smaller size units, 3075 through 3097, a single cycloidal disc is used with a counterweight and a single eccentric cam. All other sizes use two discs and the double type eccentric cam. Next, take out the second disc and remove the ring gear housing. To remove the high speed shaft, Remove the eccentric key and bottom spacer ring from the end shield. Remove the high speed shaft retaining ring. Tap the outer end of the high-speed shaft with a hard rubber mallet to free it from the high-speed end shield. To remove the slow-speed shaft from the housing, remove the slow-speed end cap and gasket. Remove the retaining ring from the exposed bearing. Tap the outer end of the slow speed shaft with a hard rubber mallet and remove the shaft from the casing. To reassemble the SM Cyclo Reducer, simply reverse the disassembly procedure. Be sure to keep dust and foreign matter out of moving parts 
and place all gaskets and oil seals properly to make sure the unit is oil tight. Do not substitute silicone sealant for gaskets. Begin with the slow speed assembly. Place the slow speed shaft on the corner of the work surface with the pins down. Lower the slow speed housing onto the shaft so that the housing feet clear the corner of the work surface. Tap the housing onto the shaft until the outer edge of the bearing is exposed. Place the retaining ring around the outer edge of the bearing. Replace the end cap gasket and end cap. To prevent damage to the end cap oil seal, do not place the end cap flat on the housing. Place the far edge of the end cap on the housing first and seat the far portion of the oil seal. Then lower the end cap toward you, making sure the entire seal fits around the slow speed collar. When replacing the bolts, make sure the first two you tighten are opposite each other. Then finish tightening them in a circular pattern. To reassemble the high-speed side, first identify the top of the high-speed end shield by locating the threaded hole or plug on the edge of the shield. Begin reassembly by inserting the high-speed shaft and bearings into the high-speed end shield. Set them with the retaining ring. Replace the high-speed end shield gasket. Mount the ring gear housing, lining up the number stamped on the edge with the top of the high-speed end shield. Test rotate the pins and rollers by hand. In grease lubricated reducers, apply grease liberally to the ring gear pins and rollers before inserting. Cycloidal discs are in matched pairs, each carrying the same number which is stamped on one side of each disc. Set one cycloidal disc into the housing with the stamped surface face up and aligned with the top of the unit. Next. Insert the bottom spacer and the key. Then insert the eccentric cam with the number up by tapping with a hard rubber mallet. You may have to rotate the high-speed shaft to align the eccentric cam and the disc. Insert the top spacer and set the cycloidal disc spacer ring in place. Insert the top cycloidal disc so the number is 180 degrees opposed to the marking on the first disc. Make sure the number faces up. Due to the close tolerances, the cycloidal disc must be completely square as it is dropped over the eccentric cannon. For easier installation, slowly turn the high-speed shaft as you're putting the cycloidal disc onto the can. Note that on grease lubricated units, you must liberally apply the proper grease to all bearings and to the cycloidal discs and the ring gear as you assemble the unit. Once the discs are installed, insert the slow speed shaft rollers and make sure they turn freely. Next, install the top bearing and retaining ring. Replace the gasket around the rim of the slow speed housing. Now join the high speed assembly to the slow speed assembly by fitting the pins of the slow speed shaft into the rollers. If the cycloidal discs are positioned properly, the pins and rollers will fit together easily. You should be able to draw the housing up completely tight and turn the high speed shaft freely. There should be no force required to completely draw the housing together.
If the slow speed shaft pins and rollers do not go all the way in, so that the housing can be completely drawn up, one of the cycloidal discs is probably off of position and needs to be rechecked. Again, tighten the first two through bolts at opposite sides, then finish in a circular pattern. Sumitomo Machinery Corporation builds flexibility into the SM Cyclo Speed Reducer. In addition to selecting either an oil lubricated unit or a grease lubricated unit, an optional NEMA C-Face mount or gear motor are also available. Sumitomo builds the SM Cyclo Speed Reducer at its 250,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Chesapeake, Virginia. With headquarters in Chesapeake and six regional headquarters, Sumitomo Machinery Corporation of America provides a nationwide sales, engineering, and service organization. Our national network of local representatives and distributors offers you comprehensive, fast, and efficient service. This concept of service has been a Sumitomo tradition and operating principle for over 400 years. Welcome to the Sumitomo family of satisfied equipment builders and users.